Dear forklift drivers, gentlemen, during your training you have proven you can control a forklift both in theory and practice. And therefore, I am pleased to tell you that all of you passed the examination. And now, I'd like to hand out your forklift driver's licenses for plant traffic. So here we have Mr. Warwick. This is Chad. Chad has just successfully passed his examination to operate a forklift. He is now one of thousands of trained specialists in the United States who call themselves forklift drivers. Good morning, Chad. Now for the real work. Your first day as a forklift driver is about to begin. And what does a good forklift driver do at the beginning of every day? Right, the look around check. Because a safe machine is the foundation of safe working. Are the brakes all right? Does the lift mechanism work correctly? What about the steering? Is it tight? Everything all right? Well then, you're all set. Let's go. For everyone's safety, separate drive and walkways are built at the building entrance and exits. But be careful. Unfortunately, there are still co-workers who do not use the prescribed walkways, thus endangering themselves. Well, that was close. Therefore, even if drive and walkways are separated, watch out for pedestrians. There's a co-worker waiting on you. Good morning, Chad. Congratulations on your forklift driver's test. Thanks a lot. I need to get that 16th order up there. Can you lift me up? But Chad, you know that lifting people on the forks is not allowed. Nope, can't do that. It's too dangerous. Hey look, I'll take a pallet and then it's totally safe. Ah, the co-worker found a solution. But it's still against the rules. That's no solution at all. And now it happens. The pallet tips, loses his balance, and falls down. <laughs> Thus, never lift people on the forks. If you need to use the forklift to lift a person, always use a special secured platform. Well, Chad, let's lift a delivery and place it on a shelf. Drive the forklift in front of the pallet, insert the forks, and lift the load. Say, uh, did uh, you see my cutter anywhere? Nope. Where did I put that? Then slowly drive forward and set down the load. Lunch. Have a good lunch. Well, Chad, here we go again. What? Won't it start? Let me have a look. I'm good with mechanical things. Wait a minute, Chad. Do you remember? Maintenance and repair may only be done by a trained specialist. So don't tamper with the machine, and don't let others tamper with it either. Oh, come on. It's no big deal. You don't have to be handy to fix this.
Therefore, never try to repair technical problems on your own. Instead, tell your boss about them so he can call an expert. Well, the forklift is working again, so on to the next load. Right, Chad. When it comes to slippery loads, it's important to keep them balanced on the forks. But Chad, don't you think a load like that needs to be secured to prevent it from slipping off or falling off the forks? Therefore, everything that can easily slip off the forks has to be secured. This is best done with a special clamping belt. Metal processing companies have special areas with increased noise level. In such areas, hearing protection must be used. Yeah.